Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Your time. Welcome to News in Details TV. Welcome, my new members, to the old ones. We love you guys. As you're supporting us, may the Lord support you in everything you lay your hands. Amen. Guys, do not forget to hit that red button that says subscribe and the bell that says all. Oh, this you forget you get to know when we upload new video. Okay, guys. Honestly, <laughs> I do not know the stuff Peter will be made of. Anyways, he is being called stingy. A lot of names he has been called yet by those people that are running with him, especially Jacoban of Lagos. But I'm going to read the news the way it is, and I would I would want us to listen to a particular clip, then we'll come back for commentary. The news in details. The presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi, has said that he would discuss with agitators in the country when elected as president. He said this on Monday while speaking at the Chatama House in London about his plans for Nigeria. Obi stated that should the United Kingdom experience 15% unemployment rate, it would witness agitation also. If there is 15% unemployment in Britain today, you are going to have massive agitation. What you are seeing in the cumulative effect of leadership, failure over the years, which will be solved by good governance. If people start seeing justice, fairness and inclusive government, all those things will start reversing itself, he said. Will be added, I will talk and discuss with all agitators. There is nothing wrong with that. People agitate even in my house and I discuss with them. I will deal with everybody. I assure you of that. The Labour Party candidate had in November 2022 during a chat with Daily Trust, stated that he would discuss with agitators across the country, and he also made that again public today in London. Okay, guys, I want us to listen to this clip, then we'll come back for more commentary. 15% unemployment in Britain today, you're going to have massive, remember, agitation. Nobody will be able to leave his house. So what you have seen is a cumulative effect of leadership failure over the years, which will be solved by good governance. When people start seeing justice, fairness, and inclusive government and doing the right thing, all those things will start reversing itself. And that is what me and that is offering. I will talk and discuss with all agitators. There's nothing wrong in that. People agitate even in my house, and I talk with them. I'll deal with everybody. I assure you of that. Don't worry about that. Then. On issue of health, yeah. yes, we have a problem with health. We have underinvested. And thank you for still being here. You heard it from the horse's mouth. He even said that if in London there is no employment, that agitation will take place. Now, why I wanted us to listen to that clip so you guys could hear it directly from him. What has caused the agitation in Nigeria? It is because of unfairness. Because of no job. Because some people are treated as second class citizens while other people see themselves as born to rule. Let's say that everybody is treated equally. Would you tell me that people will be agitating for Biafra? Or would you tell me that people will be agitating for the Yoruba nation? Would you also tell me that the people in the Middle East would also be agitating? Because there is agitation in every nook and cranny of Nigeria. 
every day people are rising up saying that they have been marginalized and that is the truth whereby it's like monkey they walk babu they chop what do you expect so the next thing is for them to agitate but if there is equality in all rentification in the distribution of resources that when you're out of school you get a job everybody are treated equally you can go for any position you want to go for as long as you have the qualification but rather what happens even if you have the qualifications you rarely get the job so Ubi has said it all if they are creation of jobs and everything is put in place there would not be any agitation when did these agitations mm -hmm. become more paramount it is recently in nigeria the agitations were not much before because <clears throat> a lot of people had what they were doing but right now when the youths are done from university they don't have a job most of them take to crime that is where you have high level of crime everywhere insecurity over the roof so everybody already know the truth you don't need anybody to tell you who your candidate is the truth is before you it is glaring nobody want to be suffering and smiling the youth has to wake up honestly if he's voted in power and he doesn't back up i will keep saying it again nigeria is not going to turn around within 360 degree it's going to take time but they are going to get there there is always a new beginning so guys please share this out let me know your thoughts in the section below Thank you for the love. Do not forget to keep your bell on. I'll see us again. Bye-bye, guys.